Tail docking has been banned in several countries, and you know, I, I think that um, I think for cosmetic purposes, tail docking is ridiculous. But there's several breeds, working breeds that you need to dock their tail, like the German short hair. I own one, and I had considered having them not dock his tail. This is true. And now that I live with Tonka, you betcha, if I was going to get another German short hair, I'd have its tail. I'd have its tail docked. Because there's no doubt in my mind Tonka would be injuring it. If he was in a crate or something, that tail's going a mile a minute. His tail never stops moving. It would be beating it against the crate and stuff like that. And uh, just going through the bush and all that, you know, they don't really have a lot of fur to cover the tail. Like if you compare it to my, my Labrador, is covered. his tail is covered with this real thick fur to protect it. So, you know, he can just go like this and it do it doesn't hurt his tail. But... I see it a lot of times on pits that uh, they have a real, you know, they don't have a lot of fur and everything, and they get like bloody tail from smacking it around. And then those tails, have, you have to put them on antibiotics and stuff like that. Generally speaking, I would say that tail docking is ridiculous, especially for cosmetic reasons. No way. No fucking way. You know, I, I really did. I considered not having the tail docked and just keeping it looking like an English pointer. And um, if you say, well, why don't they do it to English pointers? Because they're different. And if you say that about like the, the wire-haired ones, I really don't understand why wire-haired uh, pointers are, uh, are docked because they're super mellow too. Uh, you know, they're not, they're, they're not, you know, when I say super mellow, I'm comparing it to my German short hair and German short hairs that I've known. German short hairs are like some of the most hyperactive, persistent hunting dogs I've ever known and worked with, you know, it's like a Brittany, you know, I think a Brittany is another example of a dog that probably if you're going to work with it, if it's a working dog, you, you want to consider docking the tail. But generally speaking, you know, if you're thinking about doing it for cosmetic reasons, you know, docking or cropping, don't bother, don't bother. But if you have a working dog that like a German short hair or a Brittany, you betcha, you know, dock the tail and if you're uh, in one of these countries that makes docking illegal, like Sweden, Sweden, you see a much higher prevalence. They did a, a study of uh, tail injuries with German short hairs. So you, ca you can't say, well, here's the German short hair and it has tail injuries. But then, like, you know, if you compare it to, like, the, the wire haired pointers, you know, it really is. They're, they're two different breeds. You know, it's like comparing a German short hair to an English pointer. It's a different breed of dog. You get what I'm saying? You know, some dogs, the working dogs, they need to have their tail docked. That's just, just how it is.